All right, y'all, making a video here coming out of the woods. Um, it is cold in our part of the world. I think it was down to 19 this morning. But yeah, if y'all remember me, uh, I don't like the cold weather. It's not my cup of tea. Um, the way I see it, the cold weather is only good for two things, killing hogs and killing deer. But, uh, Anyway, like I said, coming out of the woods this morning, I just wanted to make a video for y'all because uh, I hadn't had a chance to make a lot of videos, uh, especially not on this side of the channel. Uh, I made a few on the other side in the uh, logging and trucking channel uh, just because it's a little easier to make those kind of videos since I'm out here every day. So, uh, yeah. But uh, if you're interested in that, go check it out. Uh, the channel is actually growing pretty good. I'm uh, very surprised at uh, how many views a lot of those videos are getting. And uh, I do believe that this channel is somewhat shadow banned. Um, I've posted, you know, some logging and trucking videos and stuff over here. And they haven't got nearly the views on this channel as they got on the other channel, which is practically brand new. Uh, and it's up to 60-some subscribers now. But, I mean, you know, started out with, you know, nothing. And, uh, you know, some of those videos have, you know, a couple hundred views and stuff like that on uh, the same kind of videos that I put on here at times. They get, you know, 20 or 30 or something, you know. Um, a long time ago, uh, I did a live stream on here, and we got to talking about some things that, uh, YouTube didn't like or agree with or whatever, and they gave me a warning, not a strike, but a warning, and ever since then, the channel has not really grown like it was growing, so, uh, I think that's got a lot to do with it, but anyway, um, I've been trying to make a few more videos here and there. I hadn't had a lot of time outside of, you know, work here. But, uh, we traded the uh, 3043D a while back for the 4066M. And, man, that is a world of difference. I love that tractor. That thing's awesome. I can do pretty much anything I want to do with it. And, uh, the... Rear remotes for the hydraulics were on back order for it, of course, and uh, finally got them on last week, I think. I had it almost a month before they got the parts in, but yeah, it's nice. Uh, I, while I was up there picking it up, I was talking to the salesman, and uh, you know, he's doing what salesmen do, but uh, I've been wanting to grapple for a long time, and lucky enough, they had one in there that, uh, you know, was used. Uh, some guy had it on his tractor and traded in, and then somebody else bought the tractor, and they didn't buy the grapple to go with it, so they let me have it for a good deal to, to get it out of the way. And, man, that thing is a world of difference. It's night and day. Uh, I just put a video out, using it a little bit in the woods, cleaning up some brush and down trees and stuff. I've still got some more to go, but I did more in a couple hours with that thing than I did in several days in there working on it trying to do it with the bucket and you know push it uh, it's doable but it uh, is nowhere near as nice and fast as that grapple is I've even you know bent the bucket a little bit doing that but uh yeah uh, I've got pallet forks too and I tried moving some of the things with that and it can be done but if they're, you know, you grab a whole handful of them and they're different lengths and balance in different places, you're always going to have a couple of them trying to fall off and stuff like that. And, uh, man, that grapple just makes it so much nice. You can uh, drive up into, you know, however many trees will fit in there or brush or whatever. Uh, I've moved hay with it. Uh, you know, a bunch of old piled up grass, 
a bunch of old truck and trailer tires, just grabbed them. An old dryer we had went bad, we took outside. I just grabbed it and moved it down into the bottom out of the way. And I mean, there's a million different things you can do with that. I use it now to turn the compost too. I was just using the bucket and it works okay, but uh, that grapple works nice because you can grab whatever because I've got cardboard boxes and old hay and things like that in it and you can just grab it and move it around how you need to and it also breaks stuff up and uh, yeah it's just you know a must have really and like I said going back with the rear remotes on it um, I don't have the third function up front that's you know extra time extra cost extra everything but uh yeah I didn't do all that so what we did was just made two lines to come off of the back hydraulics remotes and uh run up you know under the tractor and around the you know along the loader and all that to the front where I can just use the uh you know levers off of the rear remotes to uh work the grapple part but yeah it really makes a difference in my opinion uh, makes it a whole lot nicer and uh, I've done some bush hogging with that tractor uh, I've only got a five foot bush hog right now but uh, I think it would pull I know it would pull a six maybe a seven foot or something or maybe even a little bigger than that I can't really say it's uh, definitely got a whole lot of power in a smaller package and uh, I plan on baling hay with it. I didn't get the hydraulics on it in time to finish baling this year. I did cut some hay with it with that uh, Kubota mower. And uh, we raked hay with it too, I think. But yeah, it's definitely nice. I'm hoping this year will be a better year for us. Um, last year, you know, this year we really got behind on a lot of things. Uh, the garden didn't really go as we wanted to. Uh, we're having a lot of problems on the homestead with goats. We've lost two goats this week. And it uh, hadn't been that long ago. Lost our Billy. He died for whatever reason. Um, the two we just lost, I think they got pneumonia. And uh, yeah, goats are, are really hard to keep alive apparently. And, uh, you know, we've tried the best we could doing the uh, research and, you know, finding out what medicines to give them and what they might have going on and all of these things like that. Uh, we got pretty decent shelters built for them with, uh, you know, hay bedding in them and stuff like that. We've been giving them mineral and all that and it just... Uh, Hasn't really worked out too well for us. Uh, we've got three sheep, and uh, we took them over to a buddy of mine's, and, and uh, they should be bred, so hopefully we can have better luck with the sheep and, uh, you know, go that route maybe. The cows are doing pretty good. Uh, we still got a ton of work around we need to do. I need to aerate all the uh, fields. I spread some lime out on my pasture and uh, need to put some more out there, you know. And uh, I'm trying to get that spot in the woods cleaned up like I'm talking about and get some grass seed down, try to get some more pasture in it. And uh, just not a lot of time to do things now since uh, usually I'm working about, you know, 10, 12 hours a day, sometimes more. Uh, driving a truck, hauling, and working in the woods and everything like that. But uh, just want to get on here and give you all a video, kind of some updates and all. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can make some more prepping videos sometime soon when we get time. Uh, we just processed 22 chickens uh, Saturday. And uh, we put three of them whole on the smoker, which turned out pretty good. But uh, they were kind of dry, not really sure why, whether it's uh, something I didn't do right smoking or just because they were old birds, because they were old birds. 
and uh, they won't meet birds. They're just regular egg laying birds. But uh, we did that, and uh, I didn't make any videos or anything. Uh, we're going to be killing hogs soon, ours and a buddy of ours, and uh, see what else. Uh, I can't remember. But like I said, I didn't make any videos spreading the lime or anything. Uh, I plan on making some videos when I do the grass seed, but I'm probably going to wait until like March, I think, is a good time for that when the temperatures are warming up and you've got uh, the kind of like frost seeding going on where the ground is uh, freezing and thawing and working the seed in the ground. And... Uh, the woods is out in the cow pasture, so they'll be trampling over it, trying to work it in the ground, things like that. I uh, need to aerate the hay field and stuff like that, too. And uh, just, uh, you know, way more things to be done than there's hours in the day to do it. But anyway, uh, we've been doing pretty good. We're, uh, you know, beyond blessed all the way around and uh hope all of y'all is i know it's a lot of uh people on here that i talked to uh right much back when i was making a lot of videos a lot of old friends that i hadn't talked to in a while and hopefully all y'all doing good and it's a lot of uh content creators you know that uh i talked to and watched their videos and everything like that that i really hadn't had a chance to you know keep up with everybody you just get busy and kind of falls by the wayside but hopefully everybody's doing good and uh i guess that's about all i got for this one so stay prayed up prepped up and strapped up see you